Hi, my name is Angelina Hinaosa, my tribe is Pinoli Vopomo Nation, and my age is 14, turning 15 in June, and I am a Snack Youth Ambassador. Today, I'm going to be going over tips of keeping yourself well as a Native community. So, as Native people, laughter always ran through our genes. Laughter is something that we could always turn to as people, something that was very positive for us. Laughter is actually really good for the body. It's scientifically proven that it keeps good blood sugar. It's good for your muscles. It's definitely good for your face muscles. It's very exercising. You can lose weight just by laughing for too long. There's many things that come with laughter mentally and physically. And then it's just good for the human body in general. I love laughing. Laughing just, it just makes me happy <laughs> this should make others happy too i know you guys love laughing i love it when i hear a really funny joke laughing is an icebreaker it's good for the people around you it's definitely a good conversation starter it's a way to get to know others better and it just makes things less awkward have good energy everywhere for everyone and i feel like Laughter should be talked about more, especially during a shelter in place. So with laughter being medicine, when we think of medicine, we have different forms of medicine when it comes to sage, bare root, sweet grass, singing a song, or just even, you know, spreading positivity with their families. That's always good medicine. But laughter is actually one of those overall. We have to make sure that we are headstrong. We have to make sure that our thoughts and the decisions that we make are positive. Spreading positivity is what we believe in. We do not, you know, practice negativity. We practice spreading love, showing love, making sure that we're taking care of others around us and then ourselves. I have to take care of myself first before I could take care of anyone else, which is something that's very important that we need to practice. And I feel like Right now, it's a shelter in place, and it's a good place where we could practice that, starting with our family members. Um, I also want to go over some ways that we can keep our community strong. So, when we keep our community strong, and think of, you know, ceremony, but right now, we are in shelter in place, so we can't really practice a lot of ceremony. I feel like taking advantage of technology is a really good way that we could practice just checking up on each other, making sure one another is okay, making sure um, that you check on your elders, especially the ones that live alone. That's another way of, you know, keeping our community strong because we do very well believe in our elders and our communities. You now in a time like this, it's very important to keep them safe. And I also want to talk about just being with your family in general, you know, singing songs, saying prayers, making sure you're still smudging your house, you know, um, I know we smudge our house very often around here as much as we can. You know, if someone's feeling down, especially my younger siblings, um, at a time like this, it's kind of very hard for them to understand. So we still like to practice our traditions and of course, you know, let them know that it's going to be okay. Let them know that we're going to be okay. And that's, you know, part of our keeping our bond strong and making sure that our families are okay. And then of course that spreading out to our communities and Keeping each other in touch is just a really, really good way of just keeping our community strong. Like I said, we have technology. We should take advantage of it. It's a really good time right now, too. And yeah. So with the tip for self-care, I actually have a list that I want to read for everyone to just kind of take in. And this is just more for yourself as, you know, as youth, as an older adult or you know whoever is watching this you can use these tips um you could take time to identify the activities and actions that make you feel good find somewhere quiet and meditate as needed you could reread one of your favorite books you can avoid triggers watch shows that are funny and comforting take time to yourself away from others so you can also get a full night's sleep regularly so you know kind of have a sleeping schedule i know mine kind of been off but 
you know, just making sure that you have a good sleeping schedule. You know, you wake up at this time, you go to sleep at this time. Sleep is very important. Check in with yourself, you know, just make sure you're okay. You can take a hot bath, light a candle, and fill your home with favorite scent. Don't feel guilty turning down invitations or canceling plans. Take a day off of work if you need to. Write down a list of things you're thankful for. Remind yourself that this too shall pass. Read inspiring quotes. Spend time outside. Listen to your favorite band or song on repeat. Ask for help if you need it. And I feel like that kind of just comes in having a community. You know, you can go to the people that are close to you. I know a lot of people will be there for you. Don't force yourself to do anything you don't want to do. Eat a balanced diet, but treat yourself to your favorite guilty pleasure. So like ice cream, chips, junk food, but still stay healthy. Write down what you're thinking and feeling. Breathe in and out. Unplug from social media. That's a good one. Exercise. Listen to a calming playlist. Pet an animal. Do yoga. Turn off your phone for a whole day. Schedule an appointment with a therapist. Watch your favorite movie or TV show. Take a nap. Do something that inspires or motivates you. Make future plans for a trip or event that you're excited about. Spend time with a close friend or family member. And remember that self-care is not optional. It's an essential. So that is just a list of things that you could take down. Some of them you could take in, you know. It's something very good just for yourself. So when it comes to our native youth, it's something that I want to touch on because I know a lot of people are going to be watching this video, but um, this one's kind of for the parents, I guess. Make sure you're checking up on your kids and make sure that they're also practicing, you know, a lot of this self-care because our statistics are very high for Native youth when it comes to depression and anxiety and it is not an easy subject to be talked about. I know we are very aware of it now, you know, now that, you know, us as youth are speaking more up about it but it's it's something that's not forgotten it's something that's very well still there unfortunately but you know make sure you're checking up on you know the youth around you and even us as youth make sure you're checking up on your friends making sure they're doing okay because with a shelter in place we have a lot of free time on our hands and you know other than keeping up with school and grades and you know, different stuff like that. We also have to make sure that we are keeping up with our own self-care and our own mental health. Because sometimes when you're left alone with your thoughts too much or you're on social media a lot, it can lead to another place that isn't so good. I know if I'm on social media for too long, it just kind of gets out of control and then my head gets stuck somewhere else where it shouldn't be. And I have to kind of bring myself back, realize where I am that I'm with my family, that my grandma's right downstairs. She loves it when I talk to her. And so it's just another thing to remember that we have and make sure that we're practicing still, especially because we can't go to ceremony a lot right now, making sure you're still practicing that in your household as well. That's something I kind of wanted to touch on with the Native youth. Um, the stuff on the list, we can also practice. As youth, I know I like to occupy myself with sewing. I like to go out. I like to go bike riding sometimes with my friends and just do stuff that I never have done before. And I like to keep myself occupied. A topic I want to go over or a tip is healing. Um, we are in a shelter in place, which I think is a good time to heal for yourself. I know a lot of other people do healing and, you know, like have to have others around them, but we do have to focus on ourselves and take the time to just heal for ourselves. There's things that you could heal from and right now just take that time to look within and really think, what am I going to heal from? What am I going to reflect off of? There's things that we all go through. We all have our own struggles, but we also have to let go of like a lot of that negativity 
and just realize we're here, we're in the now, there's stuff that you can let go of, and I'm just going to give a list of examples that we could reflect off of. For example, mistrust, um, unresolved grief, anger, hatred, negativity, fear, shame, guilt, and those are things that we could definitely let go of, especially in a time like this. There's no need for, you know, you to carry so much on your back. There's things that we have to sometimes move on from. And in ways we could definitely heal from that are forgiveness and self and others, looking within, feasting, praying, therapy. Therapy is a good one, even if it's with a counselor or a close family member or maybe even a close friend, being generous taking healthy risks, changing unhealthy behaviors. So if you know there's a trait that you don't really want to stick with, that you know that's not the best for you, it's always good to, you know, reflect on yourself and kind of work on that. Loving ourselves and others is something that's very, really good to practice on. It's like just spreading positivity, spreading love. You know, you want to make the people around you happy. You want to make yourself happy. So, yeah. Laughter hits every key point I talked about when it comes to self-care, when it comes to our youth, when it comes to talking to our elders, when it comes to being headstrong as a person, when it definitely comes to our mental health. Laughter is a medicine that can be used for everything and anything. Laughter is good even for our communities. And it's definitely something that I think we should practice more that we should all practice more, that we should practice in our households, should practice when we get out of our households. It's definitely something that I like to practice, especially with my family. I'm a big laughter. I love to joke around. I love to make everyone laugh around me. It's a good way how I spread positivity, personally. Um, and yeah, just keeping your mental health strong. Like I said, being headstrong. Making sure the people around you are okay. Making sure that yourself is okay. Sometimes we have to put ourselves before others just to help others. So definitely taking a lot of these key points. And then when we get out of the shelter in place, hopefully we do soon. You know, we can practice that outside of our households. So thank you. My name is Angelina Hinojosa. And hopefully, a lot of you guys see this. I can't turn it off.